good. We're good. We're good. Red we're good. I did. I did. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, hello, my name is Roger. What's your name? I'm sorry? My name is Roger. What's your name? Melissa. Nice to meet you, Melissa. I'll take a McRib. I'm sorry, we no longer carry the McRib. Oh, no way. I traveled all the way here for that. I traveled all the way here from England for that. Oh, I'm sorry, we, we don't carry it anymore. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, let's say here. I'll take a shamrock shake. Is this Nicholas Clinger? I I'd like a shamrock shake, please. I'm sorry, we don't carry the shamrock shake. It's out of season at the moment. Oh, no way. So what do you have here? I'm sorry? I'm just going to have to go away. Thank you very much. What's up, y'all? A couple, couple days ago, there's a big uh, rainstorm down here, or up here. I guess it's a big thing. Uh, right down the road, everyone's piled up with their cars, uh, going to look at the bridge that uh, all floated around the HH. I'm gonna try to find a way around it so I can get a video of it. And oh yeah, I buzz my hair. Mm. See you in a little bit. around y'all with your redneck friend I'm about to show them how country folks does it again I ain't nothing chase that you seen me last year living kind of slow and talking kind of fast chasing them turkeys eating beef jerky hanging out down at the lake looking at Emmy Lou with a two-piece on and ain't nothing on that girl fake we don't need much here but fishing poles and guns and trucks with four-wheel drives cause it meant everything to hear Hank saying Lord country folks can't survive we need to get on back into the simple life of what made this country great and that was helping each other, loving our brother. Lord, I just can't wait, cause we like to hunt, hunt, fish, fish, play out in the mud. That's the way we do round here, so now you know what's up. If you don't like what we do, then go back to where you from. We like to hunt, hunt, fish, fish, play out in the mud. We all mud digging, love frog gigging, catch fireflies in the mayonnaise jar. Creekside kissing and large by fishing, we just can't help it, that's who we are. Zebco reeling and shotgun shooting, catfish flying in the little boot scooting. Come on, everybody, let's all get down. Show the city folks our country sound. It's a hoot nanny, so bring your granny, cause we have fun around here. Alright, sorry for the delay here. I'm sorry I had to get some batteries. So I, had to, so I was driving downtown and I saw um, Shopco. There's a little picture of it. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's I didn't realize it was like an actual mall. I guess that's where they have everything. They have shoes, they got clothes, they got everything you need. A little pharmacy. Oh yeah, I also had to get a Benadryl spray for uh, poison ivy. I got a little bit in the back of my head. It's kind of itchy. But uh, anyways, uh. I'll get you all over to the bridge. All right, see ya. Absolutely crazy here. Down below the dam, you can see back there. Get a little zoom. Yep. Those dams are working pretty hard right now. It's pretty terrible. I mean, it, it feels like I'm at the ocean right now. Give you another view from the angle. Different angle. Look at the fishing dock. It's fully full of water. And before there was at least a 20-foot drop-off. And now it's just full of water. Just absolutely crazy. Unbelievable. I'm going to go over to the uh, 
the Route 66 bridge and see how that is doing. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, here we are at the uh, bridge, the Route 66 bridge. I'm gonna go over there and uh, so y'all can check it out. It just seems like the river's flowing at like 100 miles an hour. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But yeah, it's flowing like a son of a gun. And here's the clearance. Now there's like, at most, three feet of clearance in the middle. Just unbelievable. All right, now I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna head over to the, uh, the bridge by my house. See how that's doing. Peace. Thank y'all. How y'all doing? Yeah, my name's Colt Ford. I just came here to do a little song for y'all about where I come from, the way I see it. I brought my buddy, Mr. John Michael Montgomery, with me. He's gonna uh, play a little guitar, sing a little bit. I'm gonna do a little something for y'all called Ride Through the Country. Let's go, John. Down the road where the black top ends, you can find Cole Ford with all his friends. We used to gravel roads and fishing with cane poles. Wasn't no swimming pools, just swimming holes. We was dirt road poor and cane switch rays. I done came a long way since back in the day. Been around the world twice, seen all 50 states. Eight them thousand dollar China, but love some paper plates. There ain't nothing wrong with them big city lights, but me, I prefer them slow country nights where I can see the darkness come and then go. Most folks is honest and they all speak slow. You can leave your door open, ain't nothing to happen. Most country folks sing, but I couldn't, so I'm rapping. I want to show y'all where I come from and invite you all down to any country town. Now, before I pack my things and leave, there's something I need y'all to understand. I've seen a lot of things in my lifetime, and that's why I walk the line. I'm just saying. All right, well, you know what? Here's a little picture of it right there. Yeah, you can hardly see, but uh, I guess what I'm going to have to do is go back home and uh, get on my bike and then ride to the bridge because all the all these roads are all uh, blocked up. So many cops around here just, just concentrated on this. Well, um, I'll see you back in my garage. I'll show you that while I'm there, too. All right, just got back home to my garage. I had to go all the way back around town to get back here. It's the only way. Uh, here's a little picture of the garage from the out view. Bubbling, bubble brav, doing work in the middle. A little boat right there. And then I also hung up my bike just to keep it out of the way. I like it up there. And then, uh, oh, recently I've been working on this. My antler and the, uh, the willow disc. I've been trying to stain it, but it keeps on soaking it in, so... I'm gonna probably have to go over to Lowe's and get some more. Either, uh, either uh, what's it called? Uh, a spray on or brush. I'm gonna try spray on because the brush keeps seeping through. It's ridiculous. Um, also, uh, going over here, my bow, RC car, <clears throat> tree climber, snowboard, and my extra tanks. This grill I, uh, I actually used yesterday to make some broths, it was pretty good. Worked perfectly with the uh, propane tank. Then I got my poles all hung up nicely. Tackle boxes. Yep. And then uh, here's the saw that we got. Still haven't hung it up yet, but I uh, plan on doing that soon once I have some time. It's huge, all right. I'm gonna ride over my bike to uh, HH Bridge. Give it a little show. Here it is. On the HH Bridge. Look at this, man. 
crazy. That whole parking lot over there, totally wiped out. This angle. I don't know why they shut it because uh, the, the water's not above the uh, bridge, but it's probably for something like uh, like the foundation's weak right now because of all the flowage or something. That's why they're not allowing cars on here right now. I don't know. I'm going to go over to the uh, good fishing spot and see how that is doing. Alright, here we are at the fishing spot. Right there used to be a little peninsula. Totally submerged onto the road. It's just crazy. People over there checking it out. It's like a big carnival day or something. Everyone just comes out to come look at the, the flood. But yeah, there's another view of it. Amazing. Shows no signs of stopping either. I'm gonna ride my bike down to the, uh, by the dam where me and dad caught a bunch of fish. <laughs> Here's a little view from the side. Right up here, let me show you something. I don't know if you guys remember, but, uh, right up here used to be a good 15 foot drop. Now it's coming up to the street. As you can see, it's over here, right by the bike trail. Completely flooded. Looks like a swamp in there. Look right here. Unbelievable. Water almost comes through the road. Well, they actually did this morning, I guess. But yeah, look at that. Yep, beautiful roads down here. Local bike rider coming up. Give it a what's up. I'll give him a hater, eh? See what happens. Really, I will. Hater, eh? Wow, that's some flow to the left. Hater. I gave her a hater, eh? And she said, yep. Get her done, son. Flowage, baby. Flowage. It's kind of hard holding this camera going off road like this. I'll let me set my bike down. All right, now this was just like unbelievable. Check that out. Crazy turbulence right there. I mean, that looks like like a that works, looks worse than an ocean right there. All right, that's enough of that. One more uh, tree lesson I'll give you. Let's see, right here, red pine. First of all, you can see the, uh, the bark, the red tint to it. Second thing, um, two needles per facetal. Let's see. Take off one little facetal, which means one little bonding. Two needles per facetal. That's how you know it's a red pine. And these are the ones we have in our yard in the back. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to head home now. I'm getting a little tired. I would give you a tour of my house, but first I want to get it all set up for y'all. Um, yeah, I'm put up all my pictures and stuff before I do the next, uh, Nooch's Nook episode. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's about all she wrote, huh? Alright. See ya.